for our video recording purposes of the demonstration we will be working with our hoods raised all the way just so that the reflection of the glass doesn't interfere with our recording so please note that this is not the correct way to be working in the hood but we have the hood sashes raised only so that the glass reflection does not interfere with our recording today's experiment is thin layer chromatography one of the uses of thin layer chromatography is to determine the components of an unknown mixture in this case my unknown number is c26 c stands for colored compound so this is my colored unknown that i'm going to analyze and determine what are the components that are present in this unknown so let us see what are the things we need for this experiment first of all we need all the standard compounds here nitrophenol 2 nitroaniline 4 nitroaniline and ferrocene these are the four standards that are possibly present in your colored unknown so we need to have these four standard compounds now how do we take the standard compounds we take small amounts of standard compounds in these small plastic vials just take a few drops of each of the standard compounds in each of these four plastic vials the most important piece of equipment that we need for this experiment is the TLC plate or the thin layer chromatography plate in short uh, called TLC plate you notice that there is white coating on this plate this coating is made up of silica gel a piece of plastic has been coated with this silica gel we also need tweezers to handle the TLC plate you need a pencil you need a ruler you also need capillary tubes these are very thin glass tubes which are hollow inside let me take one out and show you what it looks like This is how fine this capillary tube is. This lets us withdraw very small samples of compounds that we are trying to analyze. We need a developing jar. This jar you notice has been labeled hexane acetone 3 to 2. That is the developing solvent that we will use for first part of the experiment and next to this jar I have the reagent hexane acetone 3 to 2 that is the developer which we will transfer to the developing jar when we are ready to analyze the sample 